Hello, and happy Friday the 13th. Um, new things. Lots of new stuff. Uh, Microsoft has come up and decided to make its own hardware. Uh, they call it Surface. Stealing the name Surface from their old hardware, which was called Surface, which was a big table with a touchscreen in it. Now, the new Surface is a teeny tiny screen uh, <laughs> compared to the original table. Um, looks pretty good. Um, Going to be comparable to the Transformer Prime that way. I'm not so I'm not entirely sure why they decided to make their own. Uh, Windows 8 is going to be on it, which is coming out sometime end of this month, beginning of next month. Google has decided to release the Nexus 7, which is their new uh, tablet, which is going to be in direct competition with the Kindle Fire and the Nook tablets. Google's Nexus 7, though, runs on the newest processor, which is the Tegra 3. So there's a quad-core processor and a 7-inch tablet. Uh, specs look pretty good. Um, only thing I don't like about it, and the thing I really don't like about a lot of new companies that are doing this whole tablet thing, is they've decided to run to, to switch to the Apple route, where Apple, decide, Apple does not let you expand the memory on the tablets, thinking that, oh, they'll just use the cloud storage. Problem is, when you're using a 7-inch tablet, you're not always going to have a Wi-Fi connection. And these things are Wi-Fi based. So, you know, unless you're just reading a couple books or whatever, um, you really need more storage space. And the Nexus 7 comes in two flavors, so that's a good thing. It's an 8 gig and a 16 gig. I totally recommend the 16 gig. Again, like I said, it's a storage space thing. The screen is high def. Um, supposed to be very close to the same amount of, same definition you get on the newer iPads. The new Transformers coming out as well end of this month, beginning of next month. The T700, it's the uh, Transformer Infinity. Seriously, they're overstretching with these names. I mean, come on. First it was the Prime, now it's the Infinity. This is only the third generation of the product. They got a ways to go. They're gonna run out of really cool names for them real soon. I mean, they even gave up on it. The, they just called it the T300, the last one. They're like, okay, it's the 300 series. What's happening in uh, business side well, the biggest thing like I said, is Windows 8. Windows 8's coming. Windows 8 is going to be, hopefully, if the interface works the way they want it to, it's going to start at the tablet and all the way up to the server. They're all going to look exactly the same. They want to have a completely united application setup for all of them. Um, I think that's a bit overreaching. Um, and honestly, I don't need giant buttons on my server. Animated buttons on the server, not so much. Uh, animated buttons on my desktop, not so much. I don't touch my desktop screen. Well, except if it's by accident because I've been using my tablet too much. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how well this is going to go, but it definitely um, it's a departure for them to have to decide to unify all the platforms. This one looks to be very good, though, uh, tablet-wise and phone-wise. The new Windows 8 phones are going to start rolling out in uh, August to September frame. Uh, supposedly they should have them released by the end of July, but it doesn't look like it's going to make it by the end of July. Um, biggest bonus to the Windows 8 phone is it can use Office. This is good for all you people that use Office out there. Your phone will have the same program, well, as long as you purchase it, of course, the same program as your desktop and your desktop, everybody else's desktop, because seriously, everybody uses Office. Even Mac users use Office. Word, you'll be able to edit your Word documents on your phone. You'll be able to edit all your Excel spreadsheets, your access. I don't know about access. I haven't really looked into that too much. I'm not sure if that's going to go to the phone. But Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Publisher, all of those are supposed are slated to land on a Windows 8 phone. Also a bonus for salespeople. PowerPoint will now be on your phone. You get the right phone. The phone outputs to a big screen. You don't need your laptop with you. Salespeople will stop having to lug laptops around. I'm sure you'll be happy about that. Uh, new Android operating system coming out uh, called Jelly Bean because, you know, they really like their snacks over there in Android, apparently. Uh, Going to be about like, like the last one, which was Ice Cream Sandwich, which, also a bonus, Ice Cream Sandwich has released for the Galaxy Note. Happened last night. I downloaded it. It took me a good chunk of last night. But it's all set on my phone now. Gave me some nice extras, but uh, yeah, the Galaxy Note now has the latest operating system. Just in time for the next operating system to come out, of course. Um, 
Galaxy S3 is released. We're back to phones again here. I know I talk a lot about phones and tablets because, well, frankly, in the last couple of years, that's where all the innovation's been happening. That's where all the fun stuff's been going on. Uh, the S3's come out. Um, I played around with the S3. It is a great phone. If you don't have an Android phone and you want to upgrade to an Android phone, I highly recommend the S3. It's out for nearly every major provider. Uh, it's got a slightly smaller, well, drastically smaller screen than my phone, but I've got a 5.3 inch screen. Um, it's a 4.3, um, very, very bright, um, excellent contrast even in the daytime. Um, biggest thing that, they're, that they have in that phone that they haven't had in previous phones except for the newest Nexus is what's called near field communication. This potentially could revolutionize how you pay for things, which is kind of cool. Um, you, pay for, you subscribe to a service called Google Wallet. It attaches to a separate Gmail account than the Gmail account that's on the phone. Um, and you put money into the Google Wallet by your, your uh, bank account, a debit card, a credit card, whatever. Cash goes into Google Wallet. Google Wallet stays on your, there's, there's, the app is on your phone, and it uses what's called near-field communication. Say you're buying a Big Mac at McDonald's. You go to McDonald's, you buy your Big Mac, you walk up to the you walk up to the counter. All you have to do is swipe your phone across the quick slot on the front of the on the front of the uh, the scanner on, at the McDonald's, and it pays for it. Say you're going through the drive-through. Again, you purchased a bunch of stuff. You still have your phone on you. You drive past the drive-through. You hit the little you hit your phone up against the side of that uh, that little swipe thing, and boom, you've paid for your food. This technology is slowly expanding. Um, last I heard, Target had it available. Uh, major store, major store lines. Walmart is working on it. Uh, this looks to be a very interesting way to make new purchases. And the other good thing about this, though, for security purposes. Again, everything said, "Oh, my phone got stolen. Now they're going to have all my money." Well, that's the reason why Wallet works the way it does. Wallet will only have a certain amount of money in it, and it's protected by PIN code. And if for one reason or another your phone gets stolen, one telephone call to your provider, or if you, you're next to an internet-capable internet device, so if your friend has a phone that is a smartphone, which is probably a possibility if you have a smartphone, you can go onto that smartphone, uh, browse to a website, enter your PIN number, and your phone gets wiped. Sure, they'll be doing it with the iPhone anytime soon. Near field communication isn't that is isn't I, I didn't see it in the iPhone 5 specs, but again, you know, things change all the time and it hasn't been released yet, so who knows? See how much it takes off, I guess, with the Android devices. Uh, other than that, I, I think we're pretty much good for this month. So I will talk to you next month. <laughs>